Were you shocked when you opened your recent property tax bill? I know I was. We're probably not alone. My name is Frank Hunt and I'm a realtor with Hunt and Properties and Keller Williams Realty Partners in Woodstock, Georgia and this is Speaking Frankly. I'm a licensed realtor in the state of Georgia and Speaking Frankly is just my opinion on subjects related to buying, selling and investing in real estate and other things I hope you'll find interesting. This week for a change of pace, change of scenery, we're coming to you from my back deck. Get me out of the corner upstairs. And we're going to talk about how to challenge your property tax assessment. Local governments, usually the counties, periodically assess all of the real estate that they tax. When your new assessment comes in the mail, it'll list information about your property, such as lot size and legal description, as well as the assessed value of your house and your land. Your tax bill will usually be calculated by multiplying the assessed value by the local tax rate, which in Georgia averages just below 1%, but this varies from county to county. If you think your home's value has been assessed higher than it should have been, challenge it immediately you may have less than 30 days to do so, though each taxing authority sets its own timelines. Procedures are often outlined in a letter. Follow these five steps to challenge your assessment. First of all, decide if an appeal is worth your time. How much effort you decide to put into a challenge will depend on the stakes. For simplicity's sake, let's use round numbers. The median property tax paid in 2012 was about $2,000. That's about 1% of the roughly $200,000 median home value at that time. Say you're able to lower your assessed value by 10%. That lowers your tax bill to $1,800, savings to $200. In some parts of the country where the property tax rate is higher, say 3% of a home's value, clearly the potential savings are greater. This also goes for communities with home prices well above the U.S. median, which in August of 2018 was right around $279,000. Next, check the data. Make sure the information in your assessment letter is correct. Is the number of bedrooms accurate? Number of bathrooms? Fireplaces? How about the size of the lot? There's a big difference between 0.5 acres and 5 acres. If any of the pertinent facts are wrong, then you may have a quick and easy challenge. Third, get the comps. Ask a realtor to find three to five comparable properties that have sold recently. Or you can check a website like Realtor.com to find approximate values of comparable properties that are very similar to your own in terms of size, style, condition, and location. If you're willing to pay between $350 and $600, you can hire an appraiser to give you a professional opinion of your home's value. Once you identify the comps, check the assessments on those properties. Most local governments maintain public databases. If yours doesn't, seek help from a real estate agent or ask neighbors to share tax information. If the assessments on your comps are lower, you can argue that yours is maybe too high. Even if the assessments are similar, if you can show that the comparable properties are superior to yours, you may have a case for relief based on equity. Maybe your neighbor built an addition while you're still struggling to clean up storm damage. In that case, the properties are no longer comparable. Fourth, present your case. Armed with your research, call your local tax assessor's office. Most assessors are going to be willing to discuss your assessment informally by phone. If not, or if you aren't satisfied with the explanation, request a formal review. Pay attention to deadlines and procedures. There will be forms to fill out and specific instructions for supporting evidence. A typical review, which may not require you to appear in person, could take anywhere from one to three months. Expect to receive a decision in writing. If you don't like the result of your review, appeal it. In Georgia, if you don't agree with the result of your property tax assessment review, you can take your case to the Board of Equalization. This is a panel of local citizens in each county trained to review these cases. You can do this with or without the help of a lawyer. You may have to pay a modest filing fee, and this is usually $25. If you end up before an appeals board, your challenge could stretch as long as a year, especially in large jurisdictions that have a high number of appeals. But homeowners often do triumph. Also, certain changes were made to Georgia law a few years ago that benefit taxpayers. 
The changes provide that when fair market value is decided after an appeal, a tax assessor may not reassess the subject property for two years following the appeal year. In appreciating markets, a value that is locked in for the current year plus two additional years can be very beneficial. Additionally, Georgia law now provides that if a value is set by a board of equalization and a taxpayer is successful in appealing and gets the value reduced by 15% or more, the tax assessor will be responsible for all costs and fees associated with your appeal. Additionally, all appeals to Superior Court, the next step beyond the Board of Equalization, now require a tax assessor to schedule a settlement conference and make a good faith attempt to resolve any disputes before the case is heard in court. Now there are a few things to keep in mind as you weigh an appeal. The Appeals Board can only lower your property tax assessment, not the rate at which you're taxed. There is a slight chance that your assessment could be raised, and this will increase your property taxes. Finally, if you're thinking of selling soon, a reduction in your assessment right before you put your house on the market could hurt your sales price. An easier route to savings could be to determine if you qualify for property tax exemptions based on age, disability, military service, or other factors. My name is Frank Hunton, and I am a realtor with Hunton Properties and Keller Williams Realty Partners in Woodstock, Georgia, and this is Speaking Frankly. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe below. And if you like what you saw, make sure to give us a thumbs up and show us your love. Also, please be sure to spread the word and share this with as many people as possible. We really do appreciate your support. Thank you.